Alright guys, so welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be watching Cats, finally. I did not see this in theaters. I wanted to see it in theaters. It came out in December, back in Christmas. I don't know why I didn't see it. Um, I I mean, it's not like we had any, much other movies coming out in December. All we had was, from what I remember, Star Wars, which I watched once and I haven't watched it since the first time I watched it. And Spies in Disguise, and I can't remember what other movie I saw in December. But, um, yeah, I did not see this movie in theaters for some reason. Uh, I'm surprised because, you know, I'm open to watching any movie, good or bad, in the theater um, with my AMC A-list membership. And um, I was willing to go see Cats, but nobody wanted to go see that movie with me. And I did not want to go see it by myself. I wanted to, you know, watch it with some friends or some. Nobody wanted to go. Um, so uh, I was going to go to Redbox to rent the Blu-ray for this movie, but... Redbox is only carrying the DVD for cats. Um, so uh, I'm gonna have to rent it on a streaming service in my movie room once I, I head over there. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick update of um, how my movie room is like looking out now because uh, the last time you guys saw it, it pretty much just had one end game poster and uh, it was basically it. I have updated it quite a bit recently, so I'm excited to show you guys that. But um, yeah, so since we can't do movie days because the movie theater is closed, this is what I'm going to be doing from now on. So I haven't seen Cats, so this is going to be my first time watching it. And uh, I'll review it after I watch it. Obviously, I'm kind of excited, even though the movie does not look good at all. I'm excited to see what the hype is about. Um, kind of kind of weird because yesterday there was a report coming out from some VFX artist from the movie saying that um, the director... Uh, was actually like basically abusing them and keeping them like 90 hours to work on the visuals for this movie and forcing them to stay and everything which is quite terrible but um and unfortunate too but um i'm curious to see what this movie is about so let's go ahead and let's go check it out so right now i'm fixing the movie room we got the um 86 inch 4k tv here we got the adobe atmos 5.1.2 surround sound you know all my movie collection over there i got some over here too since I'm running out of space here and um, I moved my end game poster over here on this side uh, and then we got the you know the couch and everything and then I recently just bought these paintings uh, I got a Joker one right there and then I got this really nice Scarface one right there and I got another Joker one from the same artist I uh, got a really sweet deal on them and I got all my Pop Funko collections I separate them all these are from like movies um, and I have some of the Star Wars ones here too, you know, uh, to all the boys I looked before. I got all my Marvel MCU ones here. Um, I actually got some of the Black Widow ones before the movie got delayed. I got the Walmart exclusive, which I got for like $9. And um, people are trying to resell it for like $25 now, which is kind of crazy. And I got the DC um, wall here. It's a really cool um, Batman exclusive. I got the whole... Birds of Prey collection. I love this movie so much. I got some Shazam ones over there too. And I got some of the um, mystery collectibles. Uh, this one is actually a exclusive rare one, I think. This one's worth like $15. And I bought it for like $3 in a little mystery box. And I got another Harley Quinn and um, two uh, Black Canaries there. So, and then, you know, some other things I got there going, but so like i told you guys i'm gonna have to uh rent cats so um screw it <laughs> so uh let's go ahead and let's rent this fucking movie i'm excited also while we get the universal uh logo there i did buy some led lights unfortunately since this is a 86 inch uh the led lights weren't able to go all the way around so it's mainly just on the top but it looks pretty nice uh let's see probably a yellow for cats i don't know all right, that should do. So let's get started. Okay. Fucking human cockroaches. Humanized cockroaches. I'm not even 20 minutes into this movie and I feel violated. This is so uncomfortable to watch. I mean, hey, some of the choreography and visuals ain't that bad, but I think it's just, uh, it just doesn't work as a movie. I see the approach they're going for, but it, I don't feel comfortable. We got human cats, humanized mice, humanized cockroaches. Uh, uh, damn. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm 44 minutes into the movie, and for those of you guys who did not know, when this movie was first released in theaters, Universal wasn't even finished with the CGI, and people um, immediately knew about it because the, uh, there's this, the scene I'm in right now where Judy Dench gets introduced to the movie. Um, you know, she's dancing around with the cats and everything, and then if you take a close look at her hands, uh, it's not even a cat hand. Um, it's like her actual human hand with her uh, wedding ring on it and um, therefore they said that Universal came out and said oh yeah uh, we didn't have time to finish the CGI on the movie and uh, it basically they released a unfinished CGI version to theaters opening weekend and then like a week later they released the um, the finished version of it with all the cgi done and everything but i'm watching it right now and i swear to god I, i'm looking out for that specific scene and universal released the unfinished cgi cut of cats to home media because i was looking out and you could still see the wedding ring on judy dench's hand um here i'll show you a quick clip uh let me, let me show you guys you see right there you can still see her wedding finger on her hand and that's considered the unfinished CGI cut of Cats. I just cannot believe that Universal spent all this money on this fucking movie. And then when they released the digital version or the Blu-ray version of this movie, they released the unfinished version of the movie. That's how I know that Universal dumped this movie. And that's how I know that Universal does not give a fuck about this movie. And... Oh my god, I just can't believe that Universal just does not care about this movie anymore. It's just unbelievable. So, Edris Elba goes completely naked in this movie. I did not see that coming. So, so far, there's like 15 uh, musical numbers that we have been through. Um... And there are two of them that I kind of enjoyed, actually. The first one being Skimbo Shanks. Sk Skimbo Shanks? Is that what it's called? I don't know, but it's really catchy, and it's kind of fun to look at. Um, and then right after that one, um, Taylor Swift's uh, musical number starts, and hers is actually kind of catchy as well, I'm not going to lie. Um, and then Edris Elba joins her later on in the musical. Um, so, so far, there's two musical numbers that I liked, but the other musical numbers uh they're they're not really that good to be honest with you guys but uh we only have a few more minutes left um we're all we're more than halfway through this week. so i just finished watching cats and i have a hard time believing this is a real movie but it's real it's right in front of me i just watched it and i'll just tell you it was not a good movie but i had fun watching it I don't know, at the same time I was kind of bored and I was disturbed and I was really creeped out and I was just kind of enjoying myself of, of how bad this movie was. But I was really uncomfortable watching this movie. I don't know, it was a emotional roller coaster watching Cats. But anyways, let's review this movie real quick. So this video is already longer than expected, so let's review this movie real quick and Cats is obviously a horrible movie believe the hype the movie is really bad and this movie was pretty much unbearable to watch 90 percent of this movie is really unbearable really embarrassing to watch actually uh that 10 percent that i did enjoy were those two musical numbers and some of the choreography wasn't that bad either and a lot of people like to shit on this movie specifically because of the cgi and yeah there is some bad cgi but there's some decent cgi here now and then in this movie as well but um i think where the movie it really miserably fails i think is when it comes to the story because the movie has no story at all uh the the, the movie basically this movie's no, almost two hours long this movie's an hour and 50 minutes long and the first hour and a half of this movie is just introducing characters and it's just musical number after musical number after musical number the movie just got exhausting real quick it got frustrating i swear there isn't even a single piece of dialogue in this movie till like 
the first till after 45 minutes into the movie um because the movie again is just a continuation of musical number after musical number and it just gets tiresome and it gets really boring real quick and uh the like the movie has no story at all again it's just an introduction to all of these characters and i know that's the way how the broadway musical for this movie or uh the broadway for um the broadway show of cats goes but if you're not even going to attempt to fit in a story and if you're just going to do the same exact thing that the broadway did why even spend a hundred million dollars on the theatrical production of this movie uh why even bother making this into a movie at, at all if you're just going to make the same exact thing it just makes zero sense to me at least movies like mamma mia uh which you know was obviously broadway and then got turned into a movie at least that movie at least that broadway uh got a you know had a story interesting enough to make it into a theatrical production but cats cats doesn't do that it's just basically a broadway musical and i mean damn it that's why the broadway musical exists why would you even bother making the movie especially when you're not even going to try to attempt and fit a story into this movie um and i had a hard time even knowing what this movie was about it wasn't until the last 10 minutes of this movie when i finally realized what this movie was about and if you guys even care for spoilers which i don't see why you guys would care for spoilers over this fucking movie then you know spoilers ahead but the movie is about cats competing and singing as to why they think they should be the chosen one and wait for it the chosen one to die so they could get so they could re you know get rebirthed and relive their lives over again that's what the movie's about the movie's about cats just competing to die so they could start their lives over again and it just it, it, i know that's the way how the music goes but it just does not work as a movie and again i do see the approach i do see the approach of making these cats into humanized cats making the cockroaches humans to the mice human as well and there's also a, a, a human in the beginning of the movie throwing this humanized cat away and it just makes zero sense to me um uh it's not even artistic at all like it, it doesn't really make sense at all and i heard that this movie was supposed to be animated at first but then when t uh tom hopper who was on board to direct this movie he wanted to make this movie live action and it just doesn't work at all um i really blame the script the script is really bad uh the movie goes nowhere again the movie has no story um the movie has no structure as well and the movie has really really bad direction like the, it it almost feels like they didn't know where this movie was gonna go so they just let the movie go as it was and then it just turned into this horrible monstrosity of a movie that had no story it had no layers it had you know it had it was just a bunch of introduction to characters that you're just never gonna see ever again on screen because they just have one musical number and then they just dip for the rest of the movie so therefore it's just kind of the whole movie is basically pointless um and cats it, it, there's no surprise saying that this is a really bad movie uh so yeah let's just end it there cats is a really bad movie um no sugar coating it so i would obviously give cats an f um so it's a really bad movie it really is but uh you know it's a movie but anyways, so yeah, since um I can't do movie days on movie theaters because uh, movie theaters are closed, this is what I'm going to start doing. Um, I'm going to do another one of these videos for Trolls World Tour. I am going to rent the movie on demand on Friday. I'm not looking forward to the movie, but I am going to watch it for you guys. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I um, hope you guys had a good time watching this video. I had a good time making the video, that's for sure. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.